Hey, hey there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to another Red Pill Religion podcast. Red Pill Religion, where we say a number of things on a regular basis. One of which is that Christians are not required to be friends with or associate with people who treat them like garbage. No, really, we are not. Neither is anybody of any other religion. Um, we have friends of many, many different religions here, including atheists who aren't jerks. No one's required to hang out with people who treat them like jerks. Also, it is true, and this has been the case on occasion here at Red Pill Religion, people who call themselves Christians can act as bad as professional atheists, which we have done in the past, some of which we've apologized for, some of which we have not. It all depends. Uh, well, now, this is going to be an interesting podcast because it's going to bleed over so I want to mention something else that we often say over here. While it's not our main focus, it is one of our focuses. We do say that men's rights are human rights. I'm one of the guys who popularized that phrase and, in fact, signed the original document that created the men's human rights movement. So uh, we do say that if we need feminism, then we need men's human rights activism, too. Uh, finally, and it is worth mentioning this, this is something that some men's rights people also need to learn. Politics, culture, and religion always go together and cannot ever be separated, so you need to get used to it. Uh, so please support our work on redpillreligion.com. Redpillreligion.com in these days of social media censorship, we believe is probably the only safe platform you can find on us right now. Sadly, if you look into it, on yet another uh, popular site, LifeSite, has uh, been... Uh, threatened with being taken out and given unreasonable demands uh, Wait, to servers and everything. How can they How can they take, it has its own, its own private website, how can they take that out? Your server hosting provider gave them with almost no notice that they had to leave. Um, that's one of the things LifeSite's going through. Maker support, I used to Who say- Who is their server? Uh, you know what, I've got a link in the low bar, so you can look into it after the show, sir. Um, because we should find the executives at that company and punish them. Now, Severely. Uh, maker support is down for similar reasons. I used to see, say you could find us there, but maker support is gone. I used to say find us on Gab AI, but Gab AI is gone. Twitter, well, we do have the team has a red pill for religion philosophy account, but I personally am banned for life from it, mostly because I hurt some atheists' feelings. Um, so again, and of course, we have had multiple uh, false flag attack, false attacks on this channel. This channel has been suspended multiple times. Uh, for things that wouldn't get other people suspended. We've mirrored videos, even mirrored videos by atheists we don't like because we're not for censorship, but it happens all the time. So while you're still here on YouTube, where we've also been shadow bound on a number of channels and, and, and had a number of issues, but you know, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe, uh, please tell your friends or enemies about us. Please note that we're now on BitChute. All of our shows get automatically uh, 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 downloaded and updated to BitChute these days. Thank you very much, Cromwell. But just remember, you can find us on redpillreligion.com. For now, we still take PayPal donations, and we re we, we, we thank you, re regular recurring payment or one-time payment, those of you who do that to help keep this content going. Uh, we also still take my, uh, Bitcoin. And we appreciate anything there. I'm pretty sure we're going to wind up losing PayPal if things don't change soon because, really, it's getting crazy. Um, so please support our work on redpillreligion.com. Now, tonight, um, we are going to be uh, looking at uh, a video by Essence of Thought. Um, uh, we, uh, I noticed at the beginning of his thing, he says that, you know, he, both UK and US law allow for users to reproduce, distribute a copy. We make the same claims that he makes on this slide here for this. We'll be responding to him like all of our videos. You can find the link to his video. Uh, it'll be up on redpillreligion.com tomorrow when Oda posts it up there. So we will be responding to this video. Uh, this video will also be a little confusing simply because he brings my men's rights uh, past into it. Um, so this video is going to be half talking about the anti-Christian bigotry that pervades his community and the not entirely honest way he's quoting me here. And part of it will be his attacks on men's rights activists, which will be, uh, uh, that should be an interesting back and forth. Um, the Red Pill Religion team, just so you know, has quite a number of veteran uh, men's human rights activists on it, has from the beginning, for three years now, quite a few people who were disenchanted with places like A Voice for Men and Honey Badger Brigade have wound up over here, although some try to make maintain friendships on both sides. 
um, uh, whatever. Um, we don't get along. Not everybody in men's rights land gets along. So we'll be talking a little bit about that. Now, joining us tonight, before we begin, and you should subscribe to all these people's channels, by the way. First off, we have Cromwell, also known as the Common Neffle. Say hi to everybody, Cromwell. Hi. And uh, also we have Deflating Atheism, our old friend from the trenches. Say hi, Deflating. Howdy, howdy. Um, one of my old men's rights buddies and co-founder of the, co of the Red Pill Religion team, John Baptiste. Say hi. Or don't. Hello. Our friend, the quantum idealist, physicist, Johanan Rotz. Say hi, Johanan. Hello. And our friend, the Russian bot, comrade, Dimitri. Say hello, Dimitri. Privyet, I am the Russian bot, always interfering in your elections. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, this is going to be split content. I haven't decided whether I'm going to put this up in the men's rights groups or not, just because, you know, there are some, you know, there is overlap here, but he's chosen to do this, so we're going to give it to him. I'm going to state up, well, at some point, let's just see, because there's some men's rights people he should probably talk to other than me. But we got, we've got some time points marked out here, because we're also going to be talking about um, uh, uh, you know, the anti-religious propaganda and the hypocrisy of the atheist community that um, Essence of Thought here is part of. But, uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and start. The time points that we're going, which were gathered by John Baptiste, we're going to look at the section from 3.11 to 7.10. Let's see how much of this I can get through without interrupting. A single person who uses a title similar to men's rights activist who I could respect. And that was a good friend of mine who helped me found my university's atheist, humanist, and secular society. But he used the title Men's Health Advocate and was accepted with open arms, not to mention given time to talk at my university's feminist society. Repeatedly. Why? Well, because his concern wasn't a disingenuous smokescreen designed to shield him from the facts that he's actually just a misogynist prick with an axe to grind against women, as with people like Maxine Esme. Now, since then, Maxine ah, Esme has founded the Red Pill Religion Project, where he seems to have dragged the same rhetoric, the same tools, the same libelous methods he developed in one sphere over to the other. He completely inverses reality to make out that the abusers are actually the oppressed, that the secularists fighting religious encroachment into every aspect of society, including the government, and attempts to get laws who hold religious establishments accountable to their actions like everyone else, that us doing so is bigotry, is oppression, is abuse against the reigning theocratic monstrosity. <laughs> okay, let's let, let's back up a little bit. Um, uh, what I usually have found as a men's rights activist is that when men are allowed into a feminist space uh, to speak about men's issues, they always do so couched in misandrist terms and accepting fake phony statistics and, and such. On that. Um, I will, however, plead guilty to one thing. I chose, when I started the Red Pill Religion Project, to use inflammatory rhetoric. Um, that is something I had learned from my friends at the time, at least I thought them friends. I don't think of them as friends anymore. So I want to tell people in the atheist community a few things about men's rights. Here's some atheists you should go and talk to. Uh, now, I was a big part of making a lot of these people famous. Um, I usually prefer to stay behind the scenes. We are not friends now. In fact, I am highly critical of all of them. And that is because all of them are quite guilty of being vicious, abusive, and nasty towards religious men. And knowingly standing by and watching religious men being abused, plural. They have people in their chat rooms who agree with this, but are too cowardly to say so out loud. Um, multiple... Uh, we've had multiple testimony from multiple men come up and say they were sick of men's rights because they as religious men, as Jewish men, as Muslim men, as Hindu men, as Christian men, felt horribly abused by every single one of these people. So you might like them and find them uh, worth looking into. Please check out Karen Strawn. We were good friends, I thought, for a long time. We are not. This is not even a person I will speak to anymore, but you might like her. She's an atheist and she loves it hanging out with Christian haters like you. Um, Paul Elam, he denies having a religious bigotry problem. He does have one. He knows he's got one. Um, he even trade. he claims to be a libertarian, but he even trades uh, on occasion. I've caught him in communist style liberation theology, um, which he probably got from his neo-Marxist friend, Peter Wright. Um, 
Uh, you would probably like him. He denies being a Christian hater, but of course, anytime tr somebody tries to approach him on the problem that his organization has had with this, he just becomes angry. Him I would talk to, um, but he'd have to ask. Uh, there's also, of course, the Honey Badger Brigade, which is well known even now in skeptic circles as being very unpopular in certain ranks, but they have been very close with Sargon, C Sargon of Akkad, CD Filthy, anti-social justice, anti-feminist skeptics movement, but these are people who like atheists and who, you know, even though Alison Tiemann is more of a theosophist and into the whole Luciferian thing, um, she has a real preference for hanging out with atheist men. And uh, uh, she, she has abused quite a few personally or been or watched quite a few religious men be abused. It's, it's just a, a standing pattern over there at the Honey Badger Brigade. Their code word for, for religious men, by the way, is traditionalists. And they say vicious, nasty things about religion and religious men all the time and will not be corrected. They simply get more insulting. So you might love the Honey Badgers um, and you might check out Dr. Rand Omerkam, uh, another, another sort of lefty uh, so-called men's rights activist, also a fellow Englishman. You probably have a lot in common. He doesn't like feminism, but he hates Christians at least as much as you two and can be really nasty to them. So if you're talking to men's rights people, you might be more open-minded listening to your fellow Christian haters, your fellow religion haters. All of these people will, will probably have a lot to tell you. We're not friends. Um, some of them are people I would talk to if they wanted to, but I doubt any of them have the guts. Um, when I was in men's rights, I had become a former atheist. I noticed that there were a lot of atheists being recruited, and I told them that this was a long-term danger because most people are not atheists and will not be atheists, and most people don't actually like constantly seeing religion bashed, which has been a serious problem in all these places that they won't admit, although some of them are trying to clean up their act. Here's the bottom line. If you're into men's rights, you shouldn't care um, whether someone's religious or not, but you also shouldn't trample on religious men. This is one of the reasons we do things the way we do them here. But yeah, I learned a lot of the techniques used by people like Paul Elam uh, when I began my criticism of the atheist community. Still, just be aware. Atheists, you got a lot of atheist men's rights advocates who hate religious men as much as you do. So you might want to look into them. If any of these people wants to talk to me, they can ask. Um, so moving on from that, the truth of the matter is, sir, if you're part of the atheist community, and you are, you should therefore have to answer for uh, screaming firebrands and really nasty people, you know, like Jim Jeffries, like George Carlin, although like most men, he eventually abandoned his atheism. Still, he was vicious, nasty, angry all the time. And atheists tended to love him for it. Stephen Fry, another vicious, nasty, angry atheist. Christopher Hitchens, the vicious, nasty atheist of all time. Have you ever seen how angry and nasty uh, uh, Daniel Dennett gets? Have you ever watched Matt Dillahunty? How about TJ Kirk? I think you know all these names and that you've had very little to say about their own negativity. Um, so in any case, sir, uh, you know, don't blame all the men's rights people. Some of us respect religious people in men's rights, but some of us don't. You might want to go check out the men's rights people who don't respect religious men. I just gave you some. Okay, let's play a little more of this. Again, I'm only referring to what was their borderline terroristic threat on advice of my legal advisor. It at least has <laughs> elements of that, even if it doesn't amount to that in full. The reason I note this is the distinction between a terroristic threat and a call to violence. I don't know the intent behind this remark. I don't know if it was intended to get back down if I watched the or whether it was only designed to induce violence against both fans. By the way, neither a terroristic threat nor a call to violence would be direct. Having said threat as a question that assumes said threat as a default answer in need of challenge, that in no way spares Max Dean SMA from said charge. Oh, now I know Max Dean SMA has no intention of acting on this himself. That was no mind. The fact that he had the audacity to... Uh, Max, the audio is cutting out, so... so he out the message that calling for violence against atheists as he quote, enemy... I'm sorry, is that... Okay, let me see if this is better. Yeah, we'll just explain it. Actually, 
is perfectly legit. He's claiming I've made some sort of veiled threat. Now, this all by itself is libelous because I contend I've made none. But let's let's go ahead and see what he's got to say here. I'm waiting for him to get to it. Emerge. This statement most likely has zero power on its own, but repeat it often with enough people across a period of time, and it can normalize that act and even desensitize us to the fact of what's taking place. But so I'm really putting good? my foot down here and saying, no, I will not tolerate this. I will not ignore this, in hopes that maybe Maxine Esme realizes that if he keeps doing this shit, he's going to end up in a legal shithole, and I want to put him there if I have to. Now, some people might be wondering whether I'm taking things out of context or if I'm blowing things out of proportion. Well, perhaps if this comment had been made on its own, such an argument could be stretched. Unnaturally, but it could be stretched. But it isn't. During the very same hangout, Maxine Esme launches an array of charges against myself, the channel, and its viewers. I'd just like to play two of said clips to give you a greater understanding of what the statement and deal with them accordingly as the enemies they appear to want to be followed on from. The first one is an opening segment which I actually looked into potentially pursuing libel charges over, but found the logistics to be involved <laughs> overwhelming. Just as a note, I didn't look into potentially taking legal action because of said remark's impact on myself. I looked into it due to the potential impact it could have on the other people working on this channel. Oh, Contrary to what Maxine S. May asserts, I am not Essence of Ford. My name is Peter Slash Ethel Thurston. I am the founder and co-administrator of Essence of Ford, and I have a responsibility to others on my team. So I'll play that one first and return to discuss it before going on to the next. All right, so that was a long wind-up, a very a long wind-up of prejudicial remarks um, to try to justify your damseling and pretending that you're afraid of me or afraid for your folks. I will from now on refer to you as Peter. I didn't catch the full last name. Red Pill Religion here is a team too, so I understand you're not essence of thought. You're just Peter. I didn't catch the last name. Sorry. So in any case, I will repeat my, my general view that you are a professional hate monger, sir, um, and that your fans are awful people uh, as, 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 a, as a rule. That's an observation you'll simply like, not have to take. And furthermore, there's no people reason for people to be nice to them. Now, I know for a fact that you've quoted me out of context, but what you're attempting to do here is to put me on trial where you are the judge and you're uh, also the prosecutor, and you want your audience to be the prosecutor, to, to be to, to be the, the jury. Um, you are you you are in no way uh, qualified <laughs> to sit in judgment of other people. In fact, actually, Johanna, before we get into his uh, almost certainly libelous, out of context quotations here, don't you know a little something about Essence of Thought and his history with someone called I. E. Manuela? Oh yeah, he's a cyber bully. He is a terrible cyber bully. And to be honest, he's probably someone who, if we had Pinochet elected, should be thrown out of a helicopter, but I won't go there. So. <laughs> that's the joke. Viva la that's incitement. Yeah, yeah, that's incitement. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to actually do that. He's going to bring Pinochet to my country, and he's going to... Well, no, 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 no. If we elect it, so you see, it would all it'd be legal. If, if we do it, it would be perfectly legal, so therefore there would be no incitement involved, because it's not like inciting anything illegal. Sir, you're a horrible bully, and your and, and your fans often act like horrible thugs. Okay, and 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 so your your moral posturing now is very interesting. I have a team. Yeah, I I mean what I remember it was ridiculous. He they, he, I Emmanuel was a very kind person, and he viciously, him and Mr. Repsion and both their fan bases viciously attacked her, simply because she expressed a politically incorrect opinion. Of homosexuality and then when other people came in to try and defend he jumped on them to me uh state of daniel derez um number of people like that and like he just like he he, he was even trying to bully the people that i mean i wouldn't have it i told him you know go fuck himself basically but um he he was vicious towards the people who were even trying to stop the cyberbullying yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to take uh, being accused by... by. But he's never, he's never apologized for any of this, of course. 
it, it should be noted for the people who don't know the whole backstory that I Emmanuel was driven off YouTube. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and and I've faced multiple attempts to drive me off of YouTube well before I got into any really incendiary language, and when I was just trying to be funny. Um, uh, I got viciously abused and I ran into quite a few other Christians and people of other religions who were similarly abused on YouTube. In fact, I've run into a whole lot of people with stories to tell like that. And essence of thought, you run with some really nasty people. All right, let's see. We're going to just skip ahead to 811 and see some of the, some of his cherry picking. Let's, let's go ahead. 811 to 953. How hateful this guy is. Now, I should note that in the chat, Shannon Q, one of the hosts for the Heaven Hour podcast, had the unfortunate displeasure of speaking up in my defense and was abused live by Maxine Esme for having the audacity to question things such as the claims that I, as well as my viewers, have a desire or would at least feel some sort of joy or accomplishment at... No, no, that is not what happened. Uh, you were saying something indefensibly hateful and libelous towards Christians. And Shannon Q made the attempt to say that you're, oh, actually not you, but somebody on your channel, sorry, I can't keep track of them all, was saying vicious libelous, hateful, and easily debunked things about the Christian religion. And her, she tried to defend him by saying, he's a really nice guy. And I merely noted correctly, by the way, that Hitler could be nice too. Anyway, let's keep going. And the sight of Christians hanging from trees and their children being tortured. As for the claim itself, what exactly should I say? Max Dean Esme has fabricated charges against me. He's nothing more than a putrid liar that cries about the atheist what? victim mentality, as we're about to see more of in a second, before warping reality to invert the real power struggle we see. It was. So John Baptiste, did you get the part where he quotes me? Or is this just I, I I think it was between um the it, it was the parts before I I could have sworn I I right, kept let's... those in. You you went from eight eleven. Did you go all the way to seven ten? Yes, we went all the way to seven ten. Oh, then then between seven ten and eight eleven is is the all right. excerpt. All right, let's get to the excerpt. Then. Say that one first, and we're to discuss it before going on to the next. His man essence of thought, we're going to listen to a bunch of him lying about history and lying mm -hmm. about history to grind only one possible axe. His complete contempt and hatred of Christians and Jews, but to a, a, definitely a hatred for Jews or for Christians. Um, and, it, it, you know, there, there's no difference between this man and a member of the KKK. There's there no a difference between this man and a communist. There's no difference between this man and a Nazi. Because he lies about history and lies about history uh, about uh, innocent people, just like uh, all of the above did. Uh, back in the point pointed this out. Back with the whole I Emanuela incident. Um, was, their children know. tortured and their churches burned down. Uh, mm -hmm. This man would think it was ultimately for the best, or certainly his fans would be, because this is just how hateful this guy is. Now I should note that in the chat, Shannon Q. Won't yeah, and that's where Shannon Q tried to defend your indefensibly hateful member of your team, whoever he was, making that vicious video with those vicious remarks about Christians. Uh, I stand by it. I think most of your audience would be happy if they saw churches burned and Christians being beaten up and tortured. Uh, I've seen too many people in the atheist community who actually talk that way. And um, no one never calls them on it ever. What were you going to say, Johanan? Uh, when you talk about that, it's interesting to note that when the incident happened, uh, that are called the cyberbullying incident, uh, which was primarily instigated by Mr. Repsion and Essence of Thought, and of course it's hard to say which of the two of them were, I mean, Mr. Repsion is a larger channel, so he's probably more culpable, but uh, she told me that she had literal death threats yeah. from that incident. And um, that would be, I mean, you could bring Essence of Thought up on charges of incitement, I think, for that. Yeah, I think you actually could for what he did. All I did was rightly note the the totalitarian hate rhetoric coming off of Peter's uh, what YouTube channel there. I'll point out just a few things here. Um, I have a number of friends at the Freedom from Atheism Foundation, a well-known group with over almost three quarters of a million likes on Facebook. They've been in, going for over 10 years. They have an entire wall of death threats from atheists. 
Um, uh, their entire staff is completely anonymous because of the regular threats and harassment, intimidation, uh, uh, professional harassment at work, professional uh, harassment of their families. Everybody who runs that stays silent because the atheist community is so hateful and nasty and so routinely in, indulges in the sort of vicious KKK style, communist style, Nazi style rhetoric that we were hearing fairly frequent, we were hearing in that video that was on your channel, Peter, um, in, the, in the exact same sort of hate rhetoric about religion, not actually advocating violence, just, uh, just, uh, just saying obviously false, obviously easily debunked things, things he should know to be false since he's a professional in this area, as I are you. So yeah, no, I think incitement to hatred, incitement to violence actually would describe what a lot of your community does and a lot of what I was watching when I was watching that video. You people are really horrible, hateful, and nasty, and you're hypocrites. I'm sorry, people who've seen what you essence of thought people have done uh, know you're a hypocrite here. You and it's not even just like an atheist issue. I mean, like, the thing with this is, I know nice atheists, including atheists who a lot of theists see as quote unquote assholes, like Arn Ra, for example. I'm, I'm good friends with him. Are and you? He's, yeah, he's tolerant of me, and he, you know, we're we're actually we're friends, believe it or not. Let me tell you, but, I want I want to get this out too. The day our project opened, we had an atheist volunteer, Matt. We have atheist an atheist volunteer who's still with us every day, helping us out. We have agnostics. We have former Christians who are apostatized out of Christianity who still hang out with us. And we have people from multiple religions. So you can just, you can stop pretending. I also- well, I should, I wanna point something out though here. Um, they also have people like, I mean, Noel Plum is a really good example of an atheist I really like because he is, he's friendly, he's friendly towards religion, but moreover, I think the bigger issue here is not so much the atheist theist thing, though there is a large overlap in some respects, but it's an SJW versus everyone else thing. And there are a lot of atheists who do not like the SJW thing at all. I'll tell you, uh, there are there have always been good atheists. We have friendly conversations. We have atheist volunteers and we have friendly conversations all the time with other atheists. Uh, we just had, I think, Craig Roberts on. Um, we've we've had a whole bunch of atheists on. So actually, Paul, uh, Peter there, all of your Essence of Thought crew, you're being libelous now by suggesting that anything we said was ever about all atheists. You're simply lying. We have multiple atheists on our team. We have multiple atheist friends, and we've had multiple friendly conversations with atheists. Your friend Shannon, I could say a whole lot of things about, but she was nothing but dishonest with us from the moment she first came in here, and she has said a lot of things that she cannot back up. And uh, she's not really welcome here. I'm not going to keep talking about her, but your defense of her behavior is weak. What, 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 the, what the video on your channel was saying, sir, I'm going to mention a movie. We, we still we know the producers of this movie called Martyred in the USSR, which is all about the, the hateful torture and rape and murder of Christians by militant atheists, a book I want to recommend. Um, actually, this is one Paul Elam ought to read, Faith of the Fatherless, but whatever. Um, uh, look for a book called Mussolini's Rome, Rebuilding the Eternal City by Borden Painter. Uh, look for uh, a book called Storming the Heavens, The League of the Militant Godless. Um, I'm sorry, but atheists have a long history of abusing, murdering, raping, um, and, and taking rights away from religious people, not just Christians, but also Jews, believing Jews. Note that this is what we always mention when we mention that the atheist movement is a Jew-hating movement, because it is a Jew-hating movement. You hate the believing Jews and the ones who take God seriously. We have friends who are believing Jews who can see your hate and who have experienced your hate. So, sir, I, I again repeat, Peter, your Essence of Thought project is a bunch of hate mongers. Okay. Um, anybody else want to say something? Yeah, I, I just wanted to say Okay. I think I think the bigger I'll, thing here. I'll start raising our hands, please. My apologies. I was not paying attention. I was just ranting. Raise hands now, please. Robert, please go. Oh, I was just oh. going to say, um, other religions too were um, persecuted under and atheist regimes like um, Buddhism and Falun Gong and whatnot. Oh yeah, in fact. His oh yeah, big time. Yeah, uh, his uh, Robert's background here is largely Buddhist uh, because you know. Have. 
Yeah, we're actually a secular project. We welcome atheists, agnostics, and people of other religions and get along great with them. So it's rather, you know, libelous for you to suggest that it's all atheists we have a problem with, sir. Um, uh, deflating, oh, I'm sorry, John Baptiste, you wanted to say something. Uh, you, there's there, there's a long um, list of things, but it, it it's just mind-boggling it, it, that he would take the, these these comments and he's like, no, no, you know, you, a, atheists won't wouldn't uh, celebrate a you know the burning of a church yet not last week within the two you know the last two weeks. Uh, a group of feminists uh, burned down a Catholic church in in Europe and all over Twitter. You know, guess who was guess who was uh, celebrating that feminist atheist? Uh -huh. So it, it it it's 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 the SJW subset of atheists because I don't want to want Martin Bigger is tagging up with them. Well, no, no, it, it there there there's two different you know feminism and, and atheism are two different ideologies essentially. So it, it it's oh, well, there's you a know, lot of Overlap. When I say feminist atheists, I mean people who believe in both of those ideologies. No, fair enough. Uh, deflating. What do you want to say, sir? Uh, yeah. Well, the the what Max uh, said earlier is that he said uh, uh, the the hate rhetoric is no different from that of like a Klansman or a neo-Nazi, which I, I'm sure uh, you phrase that specifically to to raise hackles, but there's still a germ of truth to it because you don't get to claim innocence when you parrot the exact same propaganda that was parroted by people who committed atrocities in the past, it's like, it's like a neo-Nazi saying, Oh, I don't, I don't agree with the Holocaust. I just think, you know, Jews are vermin. They, they would not be above contempt uh, as far as the, the crimes of, of Nazis in the past. Therefore we say a uh, religion is holding back humanity. You know, it's stifling progress. Everything would be better. Well, guess what? That's the exact same kind of propaganda that the uh, that the militant uh, atheist in, in the Soviet Union who, who killed and tortured hundreds of thousands of religious believers and clerics, that's the same uh, kind of rhetoric they parroted. Now, I've taken screenshots, I don't have them right now, they're on my hard drive, of stuff I wasn't even looking for, just like going through uh, Facebook groups, like kind of, kind of mainline atheist groups, like Atheist Republic or I Trust uh, Science More Than Religion. I have screen captures of people saying religious should be religious people should be tortured until they renounce their faith. Or I had someone posted a a, a, a video of, of the Chinese demolishing a church and then somebody said, Oh boy, I wish we could have that here. People are saying these things on the internet as we speak. This does not uh, belong to a bygone era. People are still saying that and we so we ask we still have to be vigilant about it, you know. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, the, the book I was looking for, by the way, earlier was Storming the Heavens by Daniel Paris, which is about the Soviet League of the Militant Godless, which, uh, frankly, if you look through it, you'll find a whole lot of your own rhetoric on there, Peter, and that indulged by your channel and by your fans. Um, and, 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 you know, the League of the Militant Godless burnt churches, raped people, and they use the same kind of hate rhetoric that often comes out of you and your fellow atheist movement people. Um, you know, you pretend you're victims, but then you beat up on religious people and you lie about them and you tell them the kind of lies that incite violence, like, you know, claiming that, you know, God, you know our religion is about how God raped the Virgin Mary. I'm sorry, that's not only just a, a, an easily debunked lie, but it's like other all sorts of other things that are twisted out of the Bible to make Christianity look evil, which by um, your friend, when, speaking of a lot of, I'm sorry, what? Oh, sorry. I should have raised my hand. Uh, okay. Speaking of lying. Um. It's interesting because when he, um, what was it? He was responding to me on the whole cyberbullying incident. And he, tw I caught him multiple times twisting things. And one time he actually said, he accused me of something that, I forget what it was exactly, but either I didn't say it or it was something that he accused me of having like a certain, and I actually corrected him before he made his response, okay? And you, I, I gave screenshots in the, my response to his response that I had corrected him on this particular point and that he had seen it and acknowledged it, right? Mm -hmm. He went in and made the exact same lie in his response video anyway, even after I had corrected it. Yeah, so I'm sorry, Essence of Thought. You have a history of, of, of quoting people out of context and of you and your fans of harassing people. 
and smearing people. I, I, I'm sorry, but I do find you entirely comparable to KKK, entirely comparable to fascist Nazis, and entirely comparable to uh, to, to 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 communists uh, uh, like the like the Soviet League of the Militant Godless. And I will mention and this. This actually led to real death threats. It this, did. This, this is right or, I mean, it's, I mean, and these were not just like you know like random like joke death threats on the internet, right? You know, people are like, I'm going to go kill that person or this person could, you know, like drink bleach and die, etc. It wasn't like that. It was actually like people were sending her real death, like like the type of death threats that you take credibly and you take to the police. Yeah, and that happened to every, I've mentioned before, that happened to every single person at the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Now, I'm sure Essence of Thoughts people, you know, those people don't know anything about the multiple death threats the multiple career assassinations, the character smearing. Oh, wait, I think you probably do know something about it. The question is, you know, were, were any of your friends involved or not? It's just just an open question. The atheist movement is known for doing this to people, and we've documented that as many times on this channel. And you can't get anybody in the atheist movement to acknowledge any of it unless you shame, shame them into it. But even then, you, you can only shame them so far. Um, so no, I'm sorry. You're part of an online cult movement, sir, that has been violent and oppressive for a long time. And your claims to atheist victimhood, uh, fall on deaf ears among the many murdered and beat up Christians, Jews. Um, I'll even say Muslims who are innocent victims because they had, that happens too, even with the, the fighting that we have with Muslims, uh, Fulan Gong. Uh, Buddhists I've known who've been abused. Oh, yeah, uh, during the cyber bullying incident, because quantum idealism has a wide religious base, there were actually, um, believe it or not, there were some Muslims on um, that were, you know, in the comment section that his his uh, subscribers were treating right. pretty terribly as well. It was ridiculous. We've got a little more to go here, so let's say we're going to start from about the 814 part and go to 953. Hopefully he'll have more for us to respond to. Or the host for the Heaven Hour podcast had the unfortunate displeasure of speaking up in my defense and was abused live by Maxine Esme for having the audacity to question things such as the claims that I, as well as my viewers, have a desire or would at least feel some sort of joy or accomplishment at the sight of Christians hanging from trees and their children being tortured. I have as no doubt that itself, some of his own closet, some of his own, I mean, back with the cyberbullying incident, because this is a perfect way to describe, I mean, perfect snapshot. There were people in the comment section like that were like fantasizing about rape and murder. Yeah, I mean, literally, it was that, that was it was it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so don't don't give us this just crap, Ola. Yeah, I got mad and raised. Yeah, my totally, man. It's like dude totally likes self awareness. If he pretty much brings up the same old tired arguments that any other internet atheist makes. Really? No kidding. All right, let's see if we can do a little more of this. As fabricated charges against me. He's nothing more than a putrid liar that cries about the atheist victim mentality, as we're about to see more of in a second, before warping reality to invert the real power struggle. We real see power struggle. it was not Christians who were being executed by atheists in the UK for being Christian up until 1697. That was Thomas Aikenhead executed for having the audacity to question the legitimacy of Christ amongst his so-called friends. It wasn't Christians who were being hunted Citation down, arrested, needed. and tortured as part of McCarthyism. That was atheist, McCarthyism. feminist, LG McCarthyism was a communist... Okay. Now, that's very interesting, actually, right? Mm -hmm. McCarthyism was not a theist versus atheist thing. No, it wasn't. Although it was a communist thing. Although okay. the fact that the commies were godless was well known and understood. Well, I, I know, I know, but here's the second part of that, okay? If he is going to, no, not all atheists are communists, right? But if he is going to say that this was, McCarthyism was about going after atheists, then he's tacitly admitting that communism is primarily an atheist movement, which most atheists don't want to do because doing so would admit that atheism leads to mass murder. Political atheism, that is. So either he can say, you know, atheism leads to political mass murder, right? Mm -hmm. By saying, you know, it, it's it, it leads to communism, or he can say that this is not communism, not atheism. This is communism. So he can't have this both ways. 
And furthermore, nobody was killed under McCarthyism. And McCarthyism had some hysteria, but also McCarthy identified real communists. So you could try, but, but I mean, people weren't being killed over McCarthy. If you're talking, please don't try and defend the Rosenbergs, because um, that, that would just be amusing. Um, I want citation needed, really, on your claim that, uh, oh, Christians were routinely executing atheists throughout history, because you know that's not true. Such occurrences would be very rare, and in fact, history counts countless atheists throughout the last 2,000 years who were tolerated just fine by Christians, even invited to debates. Um, in the medieval era, Thomas Aquinas and those guys would regularly debate the God question. I'm sorry, but you're simply lying about history and spreading a hate narrative about Christianity, which is why I say, again, everything I've just said, I stand by. By the way, your friend Shannon really was defending the indefensible, and she does so routinely. She also deserves the appellations I've used, and I have no apologies for her. You know, you know something else about all this? Yeah? There are times, you know, when, you know, the whole atheist-theist debate gets heated at times, right? Oh. Uh. On my channel, I would debate atheists all the time, right? Yep. And yes, insults would fly, and sometimes misrepresentations would fly, and so on. And both sides would generally take this in stride, right? They just they made me respond back with their own knockout punch. But for the most part, it was it was simply they weren't they weren't being like they weren't complaining about the quote unquote hateful rhetoric as though it was like a attempt to police the dialogue itself. Yeah, and why can't why can't we just have a dialogue? I mean, yes, maybe it can be a dialogue where people throw rhetorical punches at each other. But why do you need to? Why why do you feel the need? Why does he feel the need to police the uh, the dialogue, the debate, or the um, discussion? Discussion. We just had a fabulous conversation with Robert Reed, um, which you can find. Look up Robert Reed on the Red Pill Religion channel. Um, uh, fabulous atheist that we had a very friendly conversation with. One of uh, many, yeah. many, many such examples, yeah. actually, like I said, we've got atheists on our team. So you know what, really, I'm sorry, I'm sick of it. No, you guys are the problem here, and you're trying to reverse victim and offender. And I'll, I'll, I've had a great conversation with Tyler Davenport on over on Alternative Public Radio International. Um, he's an atheist, and we go back and forth at each other constantly. We've gone at each other for as much as an hour arguing, and we smile, and we laugh, and we're still friends, and we do shows together. Um, this is things that people in your community can't and won't do as a rule. Some of you are changing on that, but most of you aren't, and that's because you keep lying about Christians and what Christians believe. I'm sorry. That's what was happening in the video we were responding to you. How convenient of you to lied that fact. Or that I might have a reason to be angry. By the way, is it automatically wrong to be angry about things? Were you a fan of Christopher Hitchens at all? Just curious. All right, let's give him a few more seconds. Drop of a hat. And I mean abuse, not critique. It wasn't Christians who were and still are thought of as monsters in the United States of America. I get that it all was the time. atheist. Having been the most. Sir, I've gotten it all the time here in America. It's happened to me many times. Happened to me in Canada, too. Even among my fellow men's rights activists, supposedly, it happened to me. It also happened to several other people I knew, which is part of why Red Pill Religion got started. So you're lying. This does happen to Christians. It happens to Christians in your country, too. Which, by the way, the UK has a real long record of abusing Catholics. Just thought I would mention that. Um, all right, why don't we just, let's see. He's the hated group in the US here. until 2014, where Islam overtook them. That's 13 years into the post-9-11 world, and they were only just surpassed by Islam, a fact that remains true as of 2017. Well, I, <laughs> how about uh, you stop a lobbying to uh, tear down uh, veterans' memorial crosses? How about you, know, you stop uh, trying to ban uh, high school football coaches from praying? Uh, if you're so concerned about your likability, I, I have a few pointers for you, you know? Uh, absolutely. Um, I, as a former atheist who still has atheist friends, including atheists who agree with me, I have to tell you that the hatefulness that routinely comes out of the essence of thought channel and, and the friends of that channel is hateful, is abusive, and in most cases you have no excuses because you're frequently repeating things that have already been debunked that you have no excuses not to know have been debunked. Um, uh, so again, I will repeat, Essence of Thought is a hate channel. 
best described as KKK-like, communist-like, Nazi-like. Let's well, it, it's an SJW channel, so of course it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that, yeah. It's just gonna it's it's not it's not primarily like it's not for purposes of debating atheism, like you know Arn Ra or Noah Plum's channel. Their, their purpose is debating religion, okay? Mm -hmm. And yes, they have you know political stuff too at the times, but that's that's not when they debate religion, they're going to be going going on it head on, okay? Where essence of thought, it's from the feel of this. I mean, I, I pointed things out to him that he knows are, are wrong, right? Or that he should know are wrong because I pointed them out. And he nevertheless will just go on in other videos as though it is uh, something that is, you know, is always argument, which is now refuted or, or bypassed entirely still stands. As though like he's continue, it's, it's for purposes. What he's doing is he's pushing this for purposes of a political narrative. Well, it is, He's 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 using. In other words, he's more interested in atheism, not for purposes of you know looking at the truth and trying to you know debate religion because he believes it's false, which he believes it's false anyway. But his purpose is is political. It's a it's a political propaganda channel. It's attacking religion, not for purposes of attacking religion, but for purposes of political propaganda for an SJW agenda. Yeah. That that's very clearly what it is. It's highly political. It's highly ideological, and many atheists find it repulsive. By the way, all right, let's let's try to get the, the, the segment from. Oh, Plum actually told me he found. Uh, he, he's not even like he. I forget what this was. He was. I think he was threatening Noel Plum with legal action at one point or something ridiculous. Maybe it wasn't that. It was something though. He had gotten into a fight with Noel Plum. Who, Essence? And it was yes, Essence did, and Noel Plum was not happy about this. And I talked to him on the side about it, and you know, I point out this guy's a summer bully too. And he's like, "Yeah, that doesn't surprise me." Like it, it's, I'll be honest with you, I have found Noel Plum nothing but nasty and hateful myself. I'm surprised you're able to maintain a friendship with him, but it doesn't. But you know, maybe I, there's a side of him that I haven't seen. I just seen. He, he seems thing. more. He seems, he's more level headed. He, I don't wanna, like when I mean, he he debated he uh you know responded to my why there is evil video way back and it was a it was a decent response it wasn't I didn't see I mean I, I haven't maybe watched any of his more recent stuff but his when he when he responded to why there is evil it was a it was a dialogue it he wasn't strikes, like a it strikes me as one of those atheists who likes to get to know a Christian um but then turns completely two faced and says things he knows aren't true. When they're not around, that's that's what I see about him. It may have okay. Well, well, maybe if that's the case, but he is at, even. I, I don't. I mean, I haven't seen that personally. But if that's the case, he's not trying to incite hatred against Christian. At least in my experience, he wasn't trying to incite. We, we've been, we've been friends. He hasn't been trying to incite hatred against me or anyone I know. So he did try to incite hatred against me, but you know what? We're, we're not here to talk. About I didn't even know this guy existed. Yeah, maybe no. Maybe Noel has changed his ways, or I've misjudged him somehow. Or something. I don't know, but Noel's been awfully nasty to me. And okay, I don't know what to deal with but, that. But, is, but. Yeah, but you know what? Maybe it's maybe I'm just too butt hurt, and I need to get over it. Yeah. Well, the thing, my point is, is that essence of thought is so bad that Noel Plum even has a problem with him. Yeah, well, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, atheists do tend to turn on each other a lot when they're in this collective cult movement. All right, let's do ten. Well, well, also, there there is the issue of nobody atheist. Well. He, because obviously there are both Christians and atheists who are SJWs, but everyone else who is not an SJW, whether they are atheist or a Christian, usually doesn't like SJWs very much. Yeah, well... 80% of the country does not like SJWs. That was actually a, That's true. And these SJWs recently. ruin all the fun stuff. It's like, why do these companies constantly hire them with that diversity quotas and they keep ruining all the good video games, man? And now Sony is now joining in on this SJW campaign since they moved out from Japan to California and now are trying to censor the Japanese game. Oh, yes, and they ruined The Simpsons recently. Yeah. Fuck, man. They ruin everything that's good with the world. And don't don't I, touch my video games. And don't you, know, you know what's funny? I've seen Essence of Thoughts videos. He has actual trigger warnings. I, I'm serious. Literal trigger warnings at the beginning of, of his videos. Oh, he's grown so weak, man. All right. So kind of an idiot. What, what kind of a thin-skinned idiot needs a trigger warning? Yeah. <laughs> but it causes psychological damage because, you know, 
you know, X list of NPC, let's see, homophobia, transphobia, racism, misogyny, bigotry, xenophobia, etc. All the ophobias and isms, right, have been, um, you know, someone is spewing um, ism or ophobic rhetoric of some kind. And therefore, it might hurt someone's feelings, and therefore, they are in, and have psychological damage, and therefore, we need trigger warnings at the beginnings of videos. Okay, all, all those all those things are what would otherwise be known as just like being exposed to the uh, court of public opinion. You know, just being exposed. Yeah, it, it's it's someone who's having a temper tantrum. No, you know what is interesting though is that being exposed to the court of public opinion, you could point out that these need for, you know. Um, what is it? The need for trigger warnings and, and the fact that people would get triggered by that in the first place of you know other people's opinions means that they are kind of isolated from the court of public opinion and they're they're kind of locked in their opinions and think themselves above the which means they're in a kind of a state of ego, right? Yeah. So it may be like a which is itself unhealthy. So it may be actually a good thing to trigger all these people on purpose to help correct their psychological disorder of being, you know. Well, I, I have something to say too about the psychological disorder thing, but um, I, I've lost hand track of people raising hands, and I apologize. John Baptiste, we're going back to it. Raise hands, please. John Baptiste, you wanted to say something. Uh, yes, it, with with him at this point, he's he's trying to paint the 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 Christianity is oppress is, is the oppressor narrative, like a, a oppressor oppress um, oppressor oppress type of narrative he, he's he's trying to say that you know because christianity has oppressed in, in in past that um that the that they can't really say anything when they get pushed back but they he doesn't really understand the the back and forth that has been going on between atheism and and, and christianity for the past like at least 10 years 18 years but you know, even before that, in the nineties, in, in the late nineties, this this really started to ramp up. Um which which then the climax was, you know, Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris and, and, and et cetera. Okay, Deflating, you wanted to say something? Uh yeah, because well, going off going off of what John Baptiste says, I mean I li I live in the Bible belt, and if you stand in the middle of the street and say, I, I am a communist, I'm an atheist. Most people's reactions would be like, why are you telling me this? Stop bothering me. People, even here in the Bible Belt, people really don't care if you're an atheist. Uh, I can say that there are a lot of situations, even within the United States, where me professing myself a Christian, uh, I would open myself up to a lot more hostility. Now, uh, going back to what Johan and Rotz uh, uh, was, was saying, is that I think essence of, of thought here is kind of clinging to the 2012 pre-atheism plus model where it was assumed that all atheists are progressive. And so I can kind of understand why he's closing ranks because he it's almost like he's in denial that the whole uh, SJW, anti-SJW schism has basically riven atheism in half. And so atheism has been basically broken since then. But he, see, he seems to still want to believe that all atheists are on board with this progressive agenda. Yeah, uh, we, we're going to go ahead and move on to another section. But I'm going to mention this book, The League of Storming the Heavens, The Soviet League of the Militant Godless. It actually perfectly describes what was done to Buddhists, also done to Buddhists in China, and Fulan Gong still happens to them. It describes the kind of hate rhetoric to the letter that often pervades the essence of thought sight. So we have every right to note that uh, really you spread hate propaganda and your friends who, who are your apologists are apologists for hate propagandists. Um, perhaps you haven't figured out, more people need to figure this out. The atheist movement was always a social justice movement. And when the atheism plus thing came about, that was the people in charge of atheism getting rid of all the useful idiots. Okay, because the, the atheism that essence of thought and that even people like Sargon preach and crowd and all those anti SJW atheists, it's all still Communist Party line. It's Marxist Party line. It's League of the Militant Godless Party line. All of it, giving religious people no reason to trust a lot of these anti SJW atheists either. Well, actually, that's interesting because if you go to Noel Plum's channel now, he doesn't talk about religion anymore. He's always on there complaining about feminism and uh, SJW stuff. 
Well, good, because that rift has happened, because people hate social justice. And in, spa in fact, the very thing that he was uh, getting into a fight with um, Essence of Thought over, from what I recall, I mean, I don't know the, the specific details, but it was over a deplatforming issue. Right. Essence of Thought was, um, was against free speech. Noel Plum was saying, you know, was trying to defend free speech against this nonsense. Oh, was that the Tommy Rom thing? It might have been. I forget exactly. It was. It was like a couple of years ago that this happened. All right, let's try to look it up. But there was a. There's a fight was specifically over some deplatforming issue. Well, where, um, nothing new in atheist land. They're always doing this. Let's play about. Because the thought wanted to be the policeman who uh, told other people they weren't allowed to say things. The, the, the speech police. Yeah. No surprise. No surprise. There's an awful lot of atheists who want the job of of, of speech cop. All right. Let's play another minute of this. One of the most revealing segments I have ever had the displeasure of sharing with you on this channel. I needed Good. to give you Maxine Esme's closing comments as a whole, unedited in any way, so you not only get the true nature of the threat he made that we played at the start, but also his character as a whole. Unedited. Please note that those of you with auditory sensitivity may wish to reduce your audio either now or when the little on-screen video timer reaches 1 hour, 45 minutes, and 41 seconds. The sentence thereafter starts out plainly, but takes a turn that some of you may find painful. I repeat, when the little black oh timer God. I put on the Google Hangout Snowflake reaches 1 hour, 45 minutes, and triggering them. I wanted to leave it unedited to retain the true impact of the hatred Maxine SMA holds not just for myself, but my viewers, and our desire to maintain religious equality, which is predicated on solid state church separation, and as a very anger, his threat follows on from. Uh, uh, seriously, I, I mean it. I mean it in the deepest possible terms. Um, uh, essence of thought. I grew up in the south side of, on the south side of Chicago in the 1970s, where uh, on Western Avenue, there on 73rd Street, um, if a black person walked on the wrong side of the street, he would get his ass kicked. But that also happened to the white kids who went on the wrong side. And I actually grew up in new neo-Nazis. I mean, if you look up, there was something called Rockwell Hall uh, on, I think, 73rd Street uh, near Western Avenue in Chicago in the 1970s, which was the headquarters of the famed Illinois Nazi party. And I literally grew up within a few blocks of that. I grew up within a few blocks of something called Marquette Park, which you can also look up, which is where race riots happened, where the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and others um, got beat up for, you know, civil rights demonstrations um, in, on behalf of black people. And I've known actual neo-Nazis, read their literature, hung out with them. <clears throat> known actual, I mean, I, I, I literally, I have a weird reaction when people are, who, who, who's the who, who's the white nationalist everybody talks about right now? Richard Spencer. I grew up as a teenager hanging out with guys like Richard Spencer, and I knew them intimately. You're as hateful or more hateful than them, and you're just as dishonest. And as a oh, here's Christian, my, here's my a, oh, go. I'm sorry. What? Oh, okay. I, I should keep playing. Um, so far, I'm standing by every word of this, so I want to hear where the libel is and where the threat is. Go ahead, go ahead, because I got a few more things to say. Go ahead. Don't you love the double standards that when Christians and Christianity in general contributed to society, it had nothing to do with it? Christianity had nothing to do with it, but if Christians did something bad, it was all Christianity's fault. Yeah, that's right. Just like when atheists do bad things, the atheism was never at fault. But when and good things happened, it was because of the atheism. That's when, right. Part of their little they, religion, they don't acknowledge. Go ahead. When they rewrite history, it seems that history is entirely in their favor. Doesn't that seem Always. like... Yeah, so big time about that. Always. Uh. You haven't even gotten into the atheist victim narrative yet. But I'm going to say it again, son. I, I oh, they, 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 they have it worse than the Jews, you know. Yes, because you're atheist. It was even worse for the atheists than it was for the Jews this last 2,000 years. Uh, it was just worse. Uh, of course, w w I don't know. It's a toss-up. Was it worse for women the last 2,000 years, or was it worse for atheists the last 2,000 years? Or was it uh, was it worse for brown people? I don't know. Well, 
So the atheists, the atheists had it worse. They'll tell you. I. Son, it's not, it, this is no longer, you know, you, one 25-year-old, do another. Now, of course, now you're an aging hipster, uh, you know, a millennial nearing middle age and wondering what your relevance is. Um, that's okay. I'm a Gen Xer and I have no relevance, apparently. But, no, no. Uh, I talk now to people younger than you, essence of thought, who get slapped around. And, and even beat that. up for being caught wearing a cross or wanting to pray. That's something I talk to he people won't address. younger than you in the United States and Canada that that's happening to. Um, it's not just me getting mocked on the internet. It's people I know, men I know, women I know. I love the I love the trigger warning he puts because I'm about to yell. And let me just note, apparently me being angry and raising my voice, which many atheists are wont to do on a regular basis, is proof that I'm full of hate. So let's go ahead and hear this rant that I'm supposedly so hateful. I so, so far stand by every bit of this essence of thought, and I believe you and people like your friends who defend you um, are complicit in bullying of my child, um, which is you know why I teach him how to defend himself from atheist bullies and other kinds of bullies. Um, because atheist bullying is a real thing, uh, you people won't condemn it. You try to defend it or deflect it. So let's go ahead. Let's hear me scary yelling. Oh, being beat up, you motherfucker. Whoa. Beat yeah. up for praying. No, no, Settle no. Settle down. Settle down, Maxie. Now, let me repeat. I know people who've been beat up for praying. What kind of motherfucker are you, Peter, or any of you at Essence of Thought, that you do not immediately say, you know what, that is totally not okay, and I would totally defame, I would totally uh, 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 say that's not acceptable, and maybe I should stop saying hateful things about religion, like this video we were responding was saying. Um, and that people trying to defend you were trying to defend by saying this guy's a nice guy. I'm sorry, this guy is no better than a Nazi. Your friend there at Essence of Thought channel is no better than a Nazi. Shut up. Beat up for praying. Beat up for being Catholic. Beat up for being Catholic. Chicago, Canada, and other places. Beat up for it. By the way, you, sir... Uh, uh, not only do I know people that's happened to, but you're busy denying that it happens or has any relevance or that the kind of hate rhetoric that comes out of your channel has anything to do with it. But it does, sir. Um, anybody want to say anything? Um, uh, 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 let's, yeah, go ahead. Raise your hand if you want to say uh, anything. John Baptiste, go ahead. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Um, no, it, it, I'm hearing echoing. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the the whole the whole thing that he's trying to paint here is you did something bad because you you know raised your voice, which did cause which does cause the sound to kind of distort. Sure. In, in headphones and and you know um but the 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 you, and you used one bad one bad word. Yep. Um, so it, it it's it's I'm not understanding what you know where where he well I understand where he's going with this because I actually watched the entire video but <coughs> um he he's not he 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 he's trying to paint this as if this was you know terroristic because uh, what happens later on is 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 you know w what you say is is you know that's where he takes great umbrage with and you know we'll see that yeah let me hey guys i gotta i gotta head out for the night later thank you thanks very much uh, for time. um okay deflating atheism just comments as this is very confusing uh what's confusing to you deflating Nothing, just the different levels where there was a discussion. Oh, the sound levels, yeah, they're going back and forth. I don't know. Do we even need to continue this drivel? He's going to imply that somehow, because I got angry about the fact that I personally know Christians who've been beat up in Canada and the United States for the crime of being religious by atheists, because my son has actually faced bullying and abuse from atheists, I even made a video with him that he enjoyed making with me because, you know, he doesn't like being bullied by atheists. He had his whole channel taken out, by the way, just because he was my son and atheists don't like me. 
Um, uh, so my son has been subjected to atheist bullying. You're still saying nothing about any of this, and you're trying to make it about me. If you if you study uh, fuck it, if you study uh, 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 what they call uh, 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 narcissistic personality disorder and sociopathic, there's actually, there's something called Darbo, which is a classic pattern of sociopaths and narcissists where they deny all responsibility and reverse victim and offender. We're talking here about Christians facing real persecution from actual atheists, and you're making it about me raising my voice and getting angry? Piss on you people. You're a filthy bigot, and I'm not threatening you, but I would say the Christians should not be your friend and should not do business with you, and that people like you Give people like me cause to say, wow, if I found out one of my son's teachers was an atheist, I would probably think about pulling my kid out of that class or maybe even getting that teacher removed. And I would simply because of what I see coming out of atheist channels like yours, sir, the hate rhetoric, the hate rhetoric, which is no better than Nazi rhetoric toward Jews, um, which is all it is. Um, do we need to keep going here or have we said enough? We've been going an hour and a half and haven't gotten through all this ramble. John Baptiste, is there some important point that he made that we missed, do you think? Well, it, later on after after this point, he he call he calls your your uh your your thing not supportable by evidence and he he goes on and talks about the the uh the the different ways that uh Christianity tortures, quotes and quotes, um, LGBTQ kids and, and stuff like that. They, they, he even mentioned something about Trump and his, uh, and his recent, um, in his recent, you know, decision, the Trump administration's recent decision to, to, uh, that, you know, um, that gen, that gender is, is, uh, you know, gender and, and, biological sex is the same thing and the you know the department argued in its memo that key government agencies needed to stop uh, adopting an explicit oh, and uniform de 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 definition of gender as determined on a biological basis that is clear grounded in science objective and administrable um oh, yeah. th those are the exact words of of you know the the government Maybe we'll come back for a part two of this and address the political stuff. But let us just notice the, the, the shell game this man is playing. He is trying to make the fact that I raised my voice the equivalent of a terroristic threat when I rightly and accurately co uh, compared the materials as being Nazi-like, KKK-like, and communist-like. Because that's Wait, wait. He was. said this was equivalent to a terrorist. I, mean, yeah. I heard... Yeah. Why would... Because you... You raised your voice. Because I raised my voice. What did you say when and you I raised your voice? Motherfucker. I said motherfucker. While I was talking about Christians being tortured, beaten up, people I know. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> people call each other that all the time on the internet. And my own child being bullied. Do you have any idea how often I get people, you know, like, calling me, like, like <laughs> he just rolls this water <laughs> off the back. I mean, but no, it, it's, it's not even that. It, it, it's water off the back, and I've seen atheists get called this, you know, and and sometimes too, and, and it, it's it's water off their backs too. I mean, like it, it's this is the internet, okay? People throw insults, and he's he's saying that's equivalent to a terroristic threat. Well, it, it's more it's more that you know later on in, in that segment, um, he called he he declared that Max declared that um, Christians should see the atheist as as the enemy, and he and that's that's what he's talking about because this type of rhetoric. You know, supposedly is is what causes violence, but it, it in an intellectual sense they are, and 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 you know they they've they've you know for the since 2010 they've been saying yes we are the enemy of Christianity we and it's not about bringing about um, religious equality like he's claiming it, it's about making atheism more more powerful in the government than it really should be. Exactly. Uh, this is a point I always made about the Reason Rally is that is that they were always talking out of both sides of their mouth and that they say, oh, well, we just want the atheists to have their seat at the table. But when you actually listen to the rhetoric, it's the atheists who want to be at the head of the table. 
you know, because they believe themselves to be uniquely enlightened and therefore they should, you know, know what, what even ideas uh, should be permissible in society. So it's, it's really disingenuous when you say, oh, well, we just want our voices to be heard. We just want, we just want to see at the table. Yeah, I'm sorry. They, in fact, that used to be it. We just want to be recognized. I mean, I was down with the atheist movement at that point, 10, 20 years ago. I was saying, yeah, I'm an atheist. I'm not really into religion. I have religious friends. I just want to be accepted. And guess what? I was for the most part, um, because it is a myth that America was ever this place where nobody, you know, if you were an atheist, you would be persecuted. You might know somebody from a fundamentalist family like that. Um, odds are they've got bigger issues than just that. But it, it, you know, it does happen, but we've got atheists mistreating their kids for turning religious too. And that's actually more common. In fact, as we know scientifically, two out of three children raised in atheist homes go on to be religious. Um, Madeline Murray O'Hare disowned her own son uh, because he left atheism. Um, I, I, you know, the founder of American Atheists. You can stop pretending you guys are just victims and that your hate propaganda, which is what you put out as on the Essence of Thought channel, it is hate propaganda, period. Hate propaganda you have no excuse for, sir, because so much of it is so easily debunked and so easily corrected. You've been doing this professionally for years upon years upon years. I don't Well, know there is perfect. one excuse for it. Which is what? If you said it keeps repeating it over and over again, right? After being corrected, yeah. Right, right. Well, if you go to like a computer game and you find like an NPC walking on the street and you try to argue with the NPC, they will keep repeating the same things over and over again, correct? Trigger, trigger warning. Trigger warning. We're now comparing atheists to NPCs, yes. No, but we are comparing SJWs to NPCs. Okay. And, uh, and I, um, would, I would compare Essence of Thoughts fans to NPCs. And I would compare oh, yeah. most people who join the atheist movement and rock the capital A logo and 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 and, and practice atheist identitarianism and attack Christians, but won't allow atheism to be criticized on the same terms. I, I'm sorry, you guys are so full of crap. You are NPCs. You repeat this. They repeat the same things over and over and over again. There is no evidence. There is no evidence. Science. Science. Reason, reason, humanism, human. Which is pretty funny because then we brought in theistic naturalism, where it would turn the whole thing on its head of naturalizing God with science rather than pitting the two against it. And they keep repeating the same mantra over and over again. It's, it's. I think we'll go ahead and close this up, and we'll think about coming back for a part two. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Um, one second before we do that. We get final statements in from everybody. From oh, well, we're talking about NPCs. Is that actually his voice, or is he using a speech synthesizer? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Um, you'll no. see in a moment. One second. Share screen. Application window. NPC. There is no evidence. Religion bad, Christians torture, persecution, Galileo inquisitions, atheism is a, is lack of belief. We have no beliefs. Conflict thesis. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Why is it not screen? I am screen sharing, but it's not screen sharing the whole thing. What? Oh, I see why. Is that better? Oh, there. What are you trying to show? NPC. Yeah, angry atheist NPC. There is no evidence. You do not understand true atheism. You were never a real atheist. Uh, uh, religious, religious plural tolerance, but even though I have none, get rid of all religion, but be tolerant. I really, uh, uh, there's nobody uh, is more like an NPC than uh, the average essence of thought fan, or especially an essence of thought apologist. Uh, got noise there, Johan. I don't know what it's about. Let's just do some final thoughts. If anybody has any uh, uh, deflating, did you have anything final to say? Well, I was going to say the the obvious parallel to current events when when he put the trigger warning for you getting angry that Christians were being beaten up. It reminded me a lot of the of the uh, of the left. Who were pointing at Brett Kavanaugh and say, "Oh, he's so angry! Look at how angry he is!" <laughs> like, like, like that was an indictment that he was the angry white male because he got angry of being uh, accused of being a serial rapist in high school. And so it's the complete reverse, 
like morality they have. It, it's just bizarre. I agree, John Baptiste. Anything else? Well, it, it there's. I mean, most of the, most of this video is actually a lie or, or trying to paint something that you know isn't doesn't really you know exist because intellectually and and ideology, uh, ideologically, um, atheism and feminism is against Christianity in particular, and you know the rest of the religions except for Islam now, um, because of intersectionality. And pretty soon after, uh, you know, they they will be against uh. The Muslim doctrine, like they're now against the tender years doctrine, but they supported it in the past. Oh you know, yeah, and and you know it it's it it, it the, the whole the whole thing that that it, it it's just it's weird to me that this happened, you know that all this happened within the the course of 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 two weeks, you know between the when we were on the. Uh, the non secular show, and it it, it 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 it's just weird because the this video was 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 part of a uh, it was it was part of a a a video that we take took down because you know that there is we we did some uh, things you know trying to get nicer and everything, and you know that I think this is one of those videos because I can't really you know, find it on any of our channels, but the, the, in, in the essence of thought, uh, channel, um, a channel called generic atheist, which I haven't really looked at, um, you know, it is the one that is hosting the whole entire stream. And it's, it's, you know, I, I wonder how many Patreon, um, people actually paid money to, to get this video made. Um, you know, and, and how, yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting how they did this. Now, to be clear, we archive all our shows. We took a number of shows offline, not because we're ashamed of any of them, although, you know, we may have lost our temper a little too much a few times. I frankly have, and the ones we just saw now, I have no apologies for that. I had every right to be angry. And the suggestion that I'm anger, hateful or dangerous or crazy somehow simply because I yelled, kiss my ass, especially from people coming out of the orbit of people like Christopher Hitchens and and, and TJ Kirk, for God's sake. Uh, Johanna, did you have any final thoughts? Uh, what was I thinking? Um, back with the... The part where he got... He was complaining that you were angry, I think is really ironic. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And, and then, furthermore, what's to say there is anything wrong with being angry in politics anyway? Yeah. Why is that a bad I mean, thing? I mean, a lot, of, a lot of... A lot of progress happens when people are angry. I was going to say, in his in in the British Parliament, which is a country um, essence of thought is from, um, the the British parliamentarians always yell at each other. <laughs> oh, look, look how helpful being angry has led to Brexit. I mean, that was that was a very useful, you know, that made a massive amount of progress. Uh, getting angry allowed for the election of Donald Trump. And if you look at Brazil with Bolsonaro, I mean, he got fifty five percent of the vote, and the guy was like toxic masculinity defined, but He's very, that's very useful because it's, you know, making Brazil great again. I, I, it, I don't see anything wrong with being angry, even like at a toxic masculinity level, because it actually is useful. It's, it's, um, you know. Yeah. And these people idolize. Overpowering and controlling the, the entire political process to bring actual progress out of it. These people idolize atheists who rant, scream, and rave. They also idolize feminists who rant, scream, and rave. So honestly, uh, I, Robert, I'm sorry. Did you have any final thought? Oh uh, yeah, I did. I was just gonna, um, I was just gonna say, I was hoping we were gonna get to the uh, bit about his um, spiel about um, Hitler and Christianity, but I guess we can wait on that. Well, um, that's, my that's final a, thought. Uh, that is, is he actually trying to argue Hitler was Christian again? Yeah, and he knows yeah. because that's been debunked a million. Okay, firstly, Hitler was neither a Christian nor an atheist. He was into like okay. weird. Fool occultism. Okay, so that that's we will cover that, it. In another that's show. been debunked so many times. I know. Well, yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna read from. I was gonna read a passage from my book. Um, I have here the rise and fall of the Third Reich: A History of Nazi Germany by William Schur, who was an on on the ground reporter in Nazi Germany. 
and recording what was going on. And the and he mentions this, he writes a section on um the religious persecution of the Christian churches. I was going to read a section out of that or passage. We so. will come back for an entire show on that topic because we've been going almost two hours now. So it's 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 time that we close. I uh, actually it's been I was just going to. Huh? I just want to say one more thing. I think um that that drawing drawing he has in the background of, of his animated self, you know, with a brain, mm -hmm. uh, it should have somewhere on it. <laughs> it, it, it. It should because uh, I, I'm going to repeat one more time. Please, I invite you to a libel challenge if you think you can make one. You, sir, Peter, and all of your crew at Essence of Thought are no better than neo-Nazis. You are no better than communists. You are no better than Klansmen. You lie routinely about things you know to be lies. You've also harassed and terrorized people. So I have no apologies to you or your friends who try to respond to, who try to be nice, who try to defend you by saying, he's really nice. No, there's nothing nice about any of you hate mongers, professional paid hate mongers. Let me repeat, you are the enemy because you have declared yourself the enemy. Not all atheists are. If you were honest, you'd notice all the atheists who are friends of ours and who have good conversations with us. No, I mean the atheist movement and I mean people like you ideologue atheist identitarians who trade in hate propaganda that you know to be false, which is what you were doing and your friend there was doing in this video that, that supposedly I was out of line to get angry at and yell at. Yeah, sorry. No apologies. You know, um, real, real fast, I just had a, a kind of off topic. Essence of Thought has frequently more recently been wearing his like long hair, or I should say Ethel has wearing his... or. Zero long hair, right? You seen that? Yeah, maybe. What about it? Do you think he, she, or it would look good with pigtails? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, All right, gonna get us uh, trans and trans um, trans people. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and let's. See, we'll also have to get into the number of many, many times atheists have abused gay people, and how atheist SJWs now routinely abuse homosexual men. Because they do, and they do it a lot in social justice circles, uh, especially if they're white, and especially if they happen to be have to have the crime of being a gay Christian. Which, by the way, there's a lot of those. Um, so, yeah, sir, you are a hate propagandist, and you're. A yeah, I know I'm a gay. I know actually a gay Christian who essence thought bullied on once. Believe it or not, I'm not going to say his name or anything, but it wouldn't surprise me. This man does. This man appears to enjoy Christian bullying or bullying anybody who doesn't accept his ideological worldview. That's what I see. If you think I've got you wrong, essence of thought, go ahead and come talk to me or any of your fans that want to talk to me and explain to me why you're not as hateful as I perceive you to be and why you're not as evil as you seem to be and why you're not the propagandist that you appear to be. Someone wants to come and defend that, let me know. Otherwise, we'll be coming back and we'll go, we'll go into this whole multiple times easily debunked Hitler was a Christian meme um, and we'll bring it with historical sources and we will be pointing out again that by making these outrageous claims about Christianity the essence of thought channel Peter and the people associated with him are all hate propagandists to repeat no better than Nazis no better than communists no better than KKK all right, everybody, uh, we will be here tomorrow night I'm actually not sure what we're doing tomorrow night so we might do uh, 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 part two tomorrow. We may or may not. Um, we are here every night regardless, and even if they take us out on YouTube, remember all of our videos are archived. All of them will be made available even if this channel is taken out through torrenting, through other sites. Um, uh, we aren't going away ever. Even if you take us completely off of YouTube, we will never go away. And we're a week. Uh, so please give us a like, please give us a subscribe, please tell your friends or enemies, and please remember you can always find us on redpillreligion.com if they take us out here. All right, and God bless everybody, including all of our many atheist friends, fans, and supporters. God bless.